fed up of plain, boring chapati, want something a little more yummy, nutritious, and that remains soft, then keep watching. <music> Bonjour, namaste, salam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, take a moment to subscribe and check out my channel for more great videos. So if you have a sweet potato lying around for quite some time, more than likely it will start sprouting, like mine did. This is the vine that shoots out from the potato. If you cut it out and plant it, it will grow. This vine is commonly referred to as slip. I had one medium sweet potato and didn't know what to do with it, so I made chapati with it for the first time. I came across this recipe online and it has been one of my best discoveries, so I thought I would share this with you guys. Peel and wash and cut up the potato and put it to boil with a pinch of salt. To test to see if it is tender, stick a fork in it. The fork will go through easily. When it's ready, turn off the heat and drain. Using a potato masher, mash the potato. Add one cup of all-purpose flour and a small amount of water and knead into a smooth dough. Cover and let it rest for about 5 to 10 minutes. Sprinkle some flour on your board or chowki. Break out small pieces and roll to form balls or loyas. Place them on the sprinkled dried flour or parton. Sprinkle some more flour or parton and roll out to form a thin circle. I'm using my tools of the trade fry pan and a simta or clippers or tongs to cook the chapati. Heat the pan on medium and add one chapati into the pan. When bubbles appear, turn over and cook for a minute. Turn over onto the live flame, flip a couple times until it puffs up. Remove from the flame with the simta or tongs and place on a kitchen towel lined with paper towel. Cover to keep warm. Repeat the process until you are complete. These chapatis or flatbread remained soft until the next day. They were so delicious. It was my first time making them, so I went simple. Maybe you can try seasoning the potato and then making the chapatis. I didn't cook all the loyas, so the leftovers I placed in a bowl and kept in the fridge. Drop me a comment below and tell me what you think or how yours turned out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to share the video. I served this uh, sweet potato chapati with my aloo gobhi mushroom curry. Sweet potato chapati is definitely on my favorite foods list.